Hey everyone! So I'm sure by now you know why I'm making this video and if you don't you can read the title but I wanted to announce that I am finally debt free! I'm so excited like I can't believe I did it, I can't believe I'm finished, I can't believe I owe money to no one like it's such a good feeling, it's a wonderful feeling and I'm sure that a small few of you are probably thinking Paying off your loans doesn't have anything to do with you living in Korea. Well, actually, it has everything to do with me living in Korea. That's exactly how I was able to do that. So if you're interested in paying off your student loan debt and you're not sure how to do it and you want to do it quickly, I would say, listen up. Before I moved to Korea, I worked in a banking company and uh, I was making good money, but I had all the responsibilities of living in America, working in the city, um, and it was good money but it was tough to save and let alone tough to pay off my student loans and I remember one day on my break time at work I called the loan company I was trying to calculate everything that I owe them and see how long it would take me to pay off my debt if I maintained my steady payments and they told me 17 years 17 years like I I just thought to myself like this is okay. Like, you mean it's gonna take me 17 years to pay off my debt and you're gonna keep adding interest onto what I already owe you? Uh, I think not. So, I kept thinking to myself, I, I can't, I can't pay this for 17 years. Who, who knows what's gonna happen? Like, so I kept thinking of ways to be able to get rid of my loans quickly and I was also in the process of thinking about moving to Korea and after doing some research I saw that people were able to actually pay off their loans or credit card debt after moving here and living here for a certain amount of time and now that's me so if you want to do that this is how you do it number one move to Korea <laughs> I would say just put yourself out there try something new if you're young if you have a college education and you are able to get the requirements to move here to Korea, I recommend looking at my other video about Epic, um, then go ahead and do it. If, you, if you're young and free and unattached, go ahead and do it. And if you're not free and you have a husband or a wife or something like that or family, maybe they'll understand and maybe they will want to move here with you. Saving money is very easy here, but also spending money can be easy as well. So I would say set a goal. How much do you owe now? Think about how much you owe and once you get here and you figure out how much money you'll make per month versus what you have to pay for traveling or food or I mean that's kind of it but um, calculate what you owe and how much you can give to your the loan company each month and yeah try to follow that goal um, and as far as traveling is concerned budget 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 I've been able to go to so many countries and see so many beautiful things but I don't splurge when I travel I mean maybe every once in a while I'll buy souvenirs for people but if you think about it do they actually want the souvenir or, or is it just gonna go in the kitchen drawer or what's gonna happen with that are you wasting your money think about that um, so that's something I think about every time I travel abroad and maybe if I get a souvenir for myself it's maybe just one thing uh, the, the next thing is Korea has a very heavy drinking culture and drinking is cheap it's very cheap to drink here like a bottle of soju is like a dollar or two at the convenience store um, so it's easy to get involved in the drinking culture and partying and things like that but budget don't go out every weekend don't spend all your money just don't go crazy and it will be easy for you to save another great tip is if you are moving to Korea and you have not decided yet if you want to live in a country or if you want to live in a city just think about it you know everybody's like I want to move to Seoul or I want to move to Busan those places are really awesome to live in but they can be very expensive so you should find some middle ground um, if this is Seoul and this is the country try to find somewhere that's right on the outskirts of Seoul and live right there to where you don't live in the city and you don't have the expenses of a city life but you can get to the city quickly that's kind of like where I live now it's easy for me to save money because I'm not taking taxi I'm not buying expensive food I cook for myself things like that also when you get paid in Korea you are rich for a moment okay 
Don't go spending all your money after you get paid. Don't go splurging. Have a little fun, but set limits for yourself, set a budget for yourself, and treat yourself every once in a while to something nice. So that's exactly how I did it. And I know I've been here for almost four years, but I budgeted for myself and I was able to travel to so many countries. I was able to do so many things, explore so much, and still pay off my loans. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, I have a lot of debt and I don't know if I want to live in Korea for that long, just move here and see how you like it. And if you can't pay off everything, pay off a huge chunk. I have friends who don't think like me and they want to come here and they're young and they want to just have fun and explore and not worry about their debt and, and defer payments and that's okay too. It wasn't the route I chose. I just feel like if I have the means, why not take care of it now? Um, not everyone thinks like that and some people say, hey, well, I'm going to work for the government and then later they should be able to pay off my loans. But you know, you never know what's going to happen later down the road and if I can take care of my debt now, why not? I moved to a foreign country. I am able to learn a foreign language. I travel all the time and I love my job. Like, why not? I, it was one of the best choices I've ever made and I'm finished. Like, now I just have extra money when I get paid and it feels great. And now I'm thinking, how should I celebrate? Should I go on a shopping spree? Should I buy myself something nice? Maybe I should party in Seoul or I don't know what to do, but if you have any ideas on how I can celebrate paying off my student loans, then go ahead and post them in the comments below and I will be thinking myself, I think, I think getting a group of friends and having a big party or going out to Seoul and celebrating might be a good idea. I think that's about right. But if you come up with something cool, please post it in the comments below. Also, if you have any other questions on how you can pay off your student loans living here in Korea or questions about life in Korea, please also post those in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I've been able to help you. And also, I'm so sorry that I have not been able to post videos as often as I would like. Lately, I've been super, super, super busy with my school and with preparing for Halloween and also preparing for two contests that if I win, I'll tell you guys about later, but right now I'm a little nervous about, so yeah, I'll tell you about those contests later. So I've just been super busy and this is my first week to relax and also I was able to pay off my student loans, so I have so much energy right now and hopefully I can get back to posting some cool videos soon. I've been able to travel different places, but editing just takes up a lot of time and I don't just do videos like I have a full-time job and then my hobby is making videos so sorry about that but hopefully I can get back to steadily making videos for you guys anyway thank you guys so much for watching Pani TV and stay tuned for next week's video and I'll see you later bye Hanyong.